Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to test our CLIs we have been building over the time with click, right? So we have been building most of our CLIs with click. So we're trying to see how to write unit test for our CLIs. So how do you do that? So click comes with its own testing studio, which is very, very interesting. So now let's see how to work with it. So this, so this is a simple CLI that we have built. And then let's see how to, how it works. So let's do Python. Then a simple CLI. Let's just help. So these are the commands that it does, right? So if I go with the normal C, say something. So say hello, right? Go to print, you said hello, right? The next command we are also testing can be greet. So let's greet someone. So let's greet David. Then hello, David, right? So that is something very simple. So we have written our own CLI. So how do we test it? So to test it, click gives you the option of doing it very simple. So let's create a simple test. I'm just going to create another file in the same location that my CLI is. So here, right? Then I'm going to call it as test underscore CLI, right? You can just give it any name, but you have to make sure that you have this particular word test there, right? In front or at the back. So that's part. We are testing our CLI. So how do we do that? So it's going to be from click dot testing import runner CLI CLI right so that is a particular stuff we're using to do our testing perfect now we have to also import our package or import our CLI so from our simple and that's the CLI which is referring to this particular file that we have right we are going to import something so from this our simple CLI we are going to import main so what does this mean so this main is referring to this particular main function here right this main function that we define so that's what we're trying to import so we're importing this main from this our simple file right so from the file import main and after importing now let's see how to write our test so it's going to be our unit test so we're going to first test our c then our grid right so let's write a simple test for that so, so test c in to make it more explanatory, test a CLI. Then how do you do that? So we're going to create a runner variable. So CLI runner. Initialize that. Then I'm going to use create a result. So this is the result. So the result is going to be how it's going to be run, right? So how is it going to be? It's going to be a runner dot invoke. So when you call the invoke, the invoke is trying to tell us that invoke this particular file, right? Invoke, invoke this particular CLI, invoke this particular command line program right that's the name of the invoke so we are going to invoke main so what are we invoking we are invoking main the one we imported we are importing invoking main so this main is referring to this particular script this cli so this main is referring to this particular static so invoke main then it takes another argument so that's the first one the next argument is going to be all the commands all these individual commands and options that you have to test right so the first one is going to be the particular command we are testing it is c then the next one is going to be the argument. So here we wrote hello, right? So in case you want to check it, it's going to be hello. Perfect. So that is how to do it. Very simple. Now let's see the next step we're going to do. So we're just going to go with a set. Then we can just go straight away with the particular result. So here you said you said hello. So you can just use the same thing. So set you said hello. That is a result that you're expecting it to be, right? The same result here. Right, so you said hello in our results dot output. output. The, the result that asking that if I run this particular script, what is the output is going to give to us, right? So the output is the one that is being stored here. So if this asset is found inside this particular tree, then I mean that the test has passed, right? That is the another one. So you can also add another stuff there. You can also make it asset results dot exit code equal to zero right perfect so it's something very simple so we are writing writing a very simple script to test it so we are testing this command say hello which is the one we run here then if that you said hello is found inside our result then the test has passed so let's run it so how do you run it? it's going to be pi dot test using pi test then it's automatically going to run perfectly for us so so it's automatically going to identify this test file which has identified test file then the telling that it has passed one so one passed in 0.28 seconds then that is passed so in case you want more information you can just go with the same stuff so pytest 
the variables, right? And it's going to also run and give us more information. Perfect. So that now it has given us the actual command. So test say this particular file, <coughs> then just passed. Very interesting. So that's how to write a simple unit test for your CLI. Now let's add some other stuff that also do. So I'm just going to create another one. Another test. So this is not going to be for the test C, but this is going to be for the test grid. Right? So here is this C grid. Instead of C grid, maybe John, right? And then we are actually going to make a mistake. So grid John, what does grid John do from this command here? Right? That grid John says hello. John. So here we're going to make it like you said, this can be say you said hello or can be hello. John, right? If I run, run this particular stuff, it's going to pass perfectly. So let's run it and see. Okay, we see that now two of the tests pass perfectly, right? The particular command passed. See that how it has been done in this way. So you can also run PyTest in this particular option and call this particular stuff, right? So how do you do that? So it's going to be in that case, it's going to be like this. Then dash k then i'm going to actually call that particular keyword which is test say in CLR. because that is only picked a test say in CLI. so that is how to be specific and pick one particular stuff it, when, when i go with the dash k i'm only testing this particular function this particular one not the rest right that is the basic idea i want to do in this particular option Perfect. So we know how to write simple unit tests. Another way of doing it is that we can also, instead of making it set hello join in this, we can also make it like this. We can also put it this way. Set right result dot output. That's another way. It's equal to the particular test, which was uh, hello join. So that's another way of also running. So either you can you just put it the other way around. Of this option so let's try it and see so just run it. first one so you see that now it has it has one of them passed the other one failed right so why did it fail it's still an asset error so hello world is not equal to hello world underscore right so this particular the first one is not equal to that and so this the result is given to us so for it to pass we have to make bring that particular so it is a backslash backslash n right so if I run this now it's going to work perfectly everything on that has passed right so anytime you are bringing the output you have to make sure that you bring your back uh, your hundred new line to allow it to pass perfectly so that is how to run and write a simple CLI so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just go inside the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe and then for apologies for the audio nowadays thank you and then stay blessed